always a to-go. I'm out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Do you, do you like lava levels in Mario games? Yes or no? If yes, which one is your favorite and least favorite? Um, me, I absolutely love lava levels like this because they're so epic. I love how the epicness of these types of levels. My, let's talk about the lava levels I really like. I really like Melty Molten Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 1. And then Super Mario Galaxy 2, I really like Melty Monster Galaxy. I also like Freeze Flying Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 1. Okay, so this, this is World 8-1. Just watch out for these following comments right here. World 8 actually ain't even that difficult. World 8 is actually a fairly easy world. This world is actually pretty easy. Um, like, compared to... Okay, so we gotta be careful here. Okay, that's our first dark one. Um, pretty easy. That's all you gotta do to be a first dark one. Watch out for these fallen comets right here. Since they hit you, it will lose, it will, it'll take away your power up. I was hoping to keep the propeller suit, but for World 8, it does not matter, because these levels are pretty easy, so... It does not matter for World 8 whether or not we have the propeller suit or not, because... It's pretty easy without it. It's pretty easy even without it. I was supposed to do that for a star coin, and I messed up. Did I get a second chance? I must not get a second chance, though. I was hoping to get a second chance. Keep in mind, if you touch the smog right there, it is instant death. The smog that is falling. Keep in mind, if you touch the lava, that is instant death as well. Kind of the quicksand in Mario Galaxy. So it's almost kind of the quicksand in Mario Galaxy. So... We got our third star coin there. And that's it. We have 98 lives now. And we'll have to go back to get our second star coin. I was wanting to throw it early so that I can... Because I did not want to wait it out. I'm going to cut until we get to the second star coin. Alright guys, I'm back. So basically what you have to do for this star coin is, you have to time it just right and do that. And now I'll cut until the level is over. Alright guys, I'm back. Guess what? We have 99 lives now. We have 99 lives now. Now we're going on, we already did 8-1 and now we're on to 8-2. Excuse me, this level is also very easy because this is the only level in this world that has a secret exit. I mean, the only level in this world. The only thing you have to be aware of for this first part are just the following comets right here. When these comets are falling down, just watch out for those falling meteorites. And you should be good to go. Let's grab our fire flower so we can use it to shoot out fireballs. I personally would prefer the propeller suit if they gave it to me, but we don't have it for this level. So we're just going to have to take it. So this first dark one is very easy. You just have to do this. So basically, um, just take your time around here when you're playing through this. This level's definitely, I think, I think it's, dude, this level's so easy, like it's, this level is really, really easy, like it's so easy. And the second star one's here. Look at that. Look how easy that was. I could get the ice flower. I'm not sure which one's more useful though, between ice and fire flower. But... Why am I slipping? I'm pressing. Ooh, I want to do. Let's do the secret exit first. Let's do the secret exit first. Cause 
that kind of makes more sense to do the secret exit first. Guys, this is such an easy secret exit to go for. Thankfully, there's no meteorites falling down on this part. 99 is the maximum lights you can get in this game, so it is a new Super Mario Bros. DS, and a new Super Mario Bros. U, and a new Super Luigi U, and the maximum lives you can get in new Super Mario Bros. 2 is 1,110. Alright, I'm just gonna... So, there we go. I'm just gonna cut until we get to the third star point. Alright guys, we're at the third star point now. And now it's time to beat the level. And top of the flagpole for the win. Because we love getting the top of the flagpole. It's not very important to get the top of the flagpole, but still, but it's nice because it gives you a one-up. <laughs> and we love getting that top. <laughs> okay, so the regular exit unlocks the path to world 8-30. And we're going to go on to 8-30. <clears throat> Alright, this level's pretty easy right here. Um, you have these volcano... You have these volcano lava things. You have to really dodge these. So be careful. So, you have these you have to dodge right here. So I'm gonna wait till this volcano goes by before I um, get this first star coin right here. And there we go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. It's not that hard. If that's all you gotta do, it's not that hard. There we go. You can speedrun this level. If you do the little trick right and you, and you angle yourself right with these volcanic things, you can speedrun it. Keep in mind. I've tried that before a long time ago, but like about, I think, four years ago, but because four, four years ago, um, I've tried this speedrunning trick to the level, but and I've died so many times trying to do that. I know you can speedrun it. And that would be cool if I got to show you me, me speedrunning this level. You can speedrun it. Do that little trick, right? Yes, you can speedrun it. But once you know how to pull the trick off, it's not that hard. And then... Alright. Alright. There we go. We did not get the top of the flight call, but that's okay. <clears throat> So what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna do the tower next. We timed that perfectly. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and do eight dash tower. This tower is fairly easy if you know what you're doing. It's hard to believe how impressive we did in World Seven, where we did not even die once in World Seven. I knew World 7 was one of the easiest worlds in the game, so I know it wouldn't die in World 7. I know it wouldn't die that many times in World 7, because World 7 is so easy, so I know it wouldn't die that many times in World 7. Because it's really hard to die in World 7. Alright, that's your first star point. Pretty simple, pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. So, just be patient. Patience is key. Don't get cocky. Cockiness will cause you to lose a life. So do not get cocky. Because if you're cocky, you'll lose a life. Excuse me. If you time these jumps right and you do these jumps pro properly, you can speed run it. I do wish I could do that for the playthrough. And 
that would be fun if you guys could watch me do the speedrun trick in this level. But you definitely can speedrun it, keep in mind, just in case if you're wanting to try that. You can speedrun it if you do those jumps right. No, no! Okay. We're in pretty good, so what we gotta do, we just gotta dodge these guys. Um, it's pretty easy, you just gotta do this. It's not really that hard. Oh my gosh. I missed my opportunity to jump that time, but that's okay. Okay, so we can just go along with the flow. I'm just gonna have to concentrate. Whoa. That's probably the hardest jump to make in this level, but it's not difficult, but not because it's difficult, just because of, um, just because of that. So, there we go. That's our second star coin right there. And the third star coin is just immediately after. So if you get this third star coin, you get a little bit more momentum, then just slide. And then just do that. Very easy. And now we're getting to the boss of this tower. We have to wait for these to come out. Okay, there we go. We're gonna take down the Kamek boss. We're gonna take down Kamek. Alright. This boss, um, is kind of a difficult one, I guess, but... It's random where he'll appear at, so there is some RNG in this boss. Mario's also really slippery, so and this boss is so slippery. Okay, one hit. Are you serious? What did I survive? Oh my gosh. I, I really don't like fighting this boss too much. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And, and don't forget to answer the question of the video. And have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.